Chapter 15 Several hours later, James Gordon was sitting at his desk, leafing through a, a sheaf of reports inscribed on yellow flimsies. Detective Ramirez rapped on the open door and told Gordon there was something he'd want to see. Gordon followed Ramsey, Ramirez downstairs through a throng of excited cops to the front steps of police headquarters. There, on the cement, with his hands, legs, arms, and ankles bound with thick tape, lay Lau, his eyes squeezed shut. Pinned to his chest was a sign, Please deliver to Lieutenant Gordon. The next two days were, next two hours were busy. Lau had to be unbound carefully in case there was something lethal hidden on him and examined by a physician, as well as fed, allowed to bathe, and taken to an interrogation room. Assistant District Attorney Rachel Dawes eventually entered the room, nodded to several detectives who leaned against a wall, and sat across the table from Lau. Without preamble, Rachel said, Give us the money and we'll deal. The money is the only reason I'm alive, Lau said. Rachel leaned forward. You mean when they hear that you've helped us, they're going to kill you? When Lau didn't reply, Rachel stood and moved toward the door. Enjoy your stay, Mr. Lau. Wait, Lau cried, and Rachel stopped, her hand on the doorknob. I won't give you the money, but I'll give you my clients. All of them. You were a glorified accountant, Rachel said. What could you have on all of them that we could charge? I'm good with calculations. I handled all their investments. One big pot. Rachel stared at the ceiling for almost a minute and finally said, It might work. On the other side of the door, Harvey Dent and James Gordon were watching the Lau interrogation on a closed circuit television. You know what Miss Dawes has in mind? Gordon asked the district attorney. Rico, Dent replied. Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act. If their money was pooled, we can charge all of them as one con criminal conspiracy. Charge them with what? The door opened, and Rachel joined them. Dent smiled at her and continued. In a RICO case, if we can charge any of the conspirators with a felony, we can charge all of them with it, Rachel said. Want to keep going? Dent asked Rachel. Love to. Then he's all yours. Rachel went back into the interrogation room and stood at the table, looking down at Lau and Evans. Mr. Lau, she said, do you have details of this communal fund? Ledgers? Notebooks? Lau raised his face until he was staring into Rachel's eyes. Immunity, protection, and a chartered plane back to Hong Kong. Once you've testified in open court, so with your clients locked up, what happens to the money? As I said, I'm good with calculations. Outside the room, Gordon looked up from the television screen. He can't go to the county lockup. I'll keep him here in the Halden cells. What is this, Gordon? Your fortress? You trust them over a county? I don't trust them here. Lau stays. It's your call, Lieutenant. Be right. I am, Counselor.